black holes belong to the most mysterious phenomena in space. For a long time, their existence was only a mathematical assumption. Then in the 1960s, it was confirmed that there are massive objects which consist essentially of nothing and nevertheless have an extreme attractive force. The first black hole ever discovered is called Cygnus X1 and is located 6,000 to 7,000 light years away in the constellation of Swan. In this video, you will learn what this black hole is all about and why researchers recently had to throw everything they thought they knew about this black hole out the window. Before we take you on a journey to one of the most fascinating but also most dangerous phenomena in the universe, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell, and give us a like at the end of the video if you enjoyed it. We'll now first look at some facts about the history of the discovery of black holes. What are black holes? Scientists now believe that black holes are the legacies of stars that have died. So far, researchers suspect that only very specific classes of stars leave behind a black hole after their final explosion. These stars are in any case larger than our comparatively small sun. Smaller stars usually leave behind only very fast rotating neutron stars after they have collapsed as supernovae. Before scientists came to these views, black holes existed only experimentally or as part of mathematical equations. Great astronomers like Albert Einstein or his colleague Carl Schwarzman tried to describe the cosmos by formulas and physical quantities. The idea of black holes was actually born in the midst of the turmoil of war. Carl Schwarzschild had his scientific notebooks with him in the trenches of the Eastern Front of World War I and found a coherent solution to an open equation of the mathematical genius Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. In 1916, Schwarzschild published his work under the title On the Gravitational Field of a Point of Mass According to Einstein's Theory. In it, Schwarzschild basically described the existence of black holes for the first time. A short time later, Schwarzschild died as a result of a mysterious skin disease he had probably contracted during the war. Schwarzschild's work lived on, however, and found many supporters. This was all long before scientists ever saw a black hole or had any clear measurement data. The only thing that was clear was that there had to be completely collapsed objects of great size in space, possessing gigantic gravitational pull, and very likely emitting large amounts of radiation. In 1967, it was finally U.S. physicist John Wheeler who first introduced the term black hole in the course of an astronomical conference in New York. In a technical paper on the observation, shortly before, of regular radio pulses from an unknown source, the researchers discussed the possibility that these signals could come from rotating neutron stars or these mysterious, completely collapsed objects. John Wheeler got on his own nerves repeating the tongue twister, completely collapsed object during his lecture of several hours. After a joking shout out from the audience, Wheeler said black hole without further ado. Thus the term was born that to this day excites and terrifies experts and amateur astronomers alike. Black holes are basically neither black nor dark. Strictly speaking, they consist of a mysterious nothing. At the places where they are localized, there is something like a hole that emits no light, is completely transparent, and has an extreme gravitational pull. The holes are sometimes only visible through a thin corona of dust at their outermost edge or when they are in the process of pulling other objects, such as planets or stars, into themselves. The first black hole ever discovered. The observation of regular radio pulses that Wheeler and his colleagues discussed in New York in 1967 had been recorded three years earlier by a sounding rocket. In the 1960s, these rockets, about 24 to 40 feet long, were used primarily as meteorological data collectors. Sounding rockets are launched almost vertically into the high layers of the Earth's atmosphere or into Earth orbit. They then collect data and then fall back to Earth in controlled maneuvers. To confirm the measured data and the suspicions about the existence of a real black hole in Earth's not-so-distant cosmic neighborhood, an X-ray telescope called Uhuru was used. 
When Uhuru was able to confirm the source of X-rays in the constellation of Swan in the 1970s, there was great excitement among astronomers. The first official black hole was named Cygnus X1. Cygnus is the Latin name for the constellation Swan, where the apparition is located. The X is derived from the English term X-ray, denoting an object from which extremely powerful X-rays emanate, and one simply states that it is the first discovered object of this type. Later, Cygnus X1 became visible in part due to gas emanating from a blue supergiant star orbiting the black hole. Most likely, Cygnus X1 and the blue supergiant once formed a binary star system. When one of the two exploded as a supernova after its fuel was exhausted, it evolved into a completely collapsed object, leaving behind what we know today as the Cygnus X1 black hole. New Studies on Cygnus X1 Since the discovery of Cygnus X1, thousands of other black holes have been found and confirmed in space. This phenomena are as much a part of our universe as stars, planets, and galaxies. Even at the center of our galaxy and every other galaxy, there is very likely a supermassive black hole. Meanwhile, thanks to advanced technologies and data from the Hubble Space Telescope, researchers have been able to observe black holes sucking in entire stars or planets. Of course, this doesn't necessarily make them the most likable phenomena in the cosmos. Very likely, however, they are simply part of the great dynamics in space that we humans are only slowly beginning to understand. Until today, it's a mystery of science what exactly happens in the black holes. According to some theories, the giant black vacuums should be something like great renewers or perhaps even wormholes to distant parts of our or other galaxies, as well as to parallel worlds. Since even the nearest known black hole, Gaia BH1, is at a distance of 1.560 light years, it is impossible for us humans to send a probe to a black hole to find out more about its nature. Even if we could, the extreme forces of black holes would crush a probe before it could even fly toward the hole. What exactly happens inside the holes will remain a mystery or pure theory. The interest in black holes is nevertheless unbroken in science, and even our old acquaintance Cygnus X1 has provided for headlines in recent years. New studies from the year 2011 had to correct first the distance of Cygnus X1. Researchers assumed up to that point that the black hole would be about 6,070 light years far away from the Earth. But this distance had to be corrected according to the new measurements of 7,240 light years. In addition, the new measurements revealed that the black hole, which is about 5 million years old, is much larger than scientists had previously assumed. To determine the distance of the black hole, scientists used the so-called parallax technique, which involved studying Cygnus X1 in comparison to its background. This technique can be roughly compared to finger pointing. If you hold a finger at arm's length away from you and close first one eye and then the other, you can see how the finger appears to move from one point to another compared to more distant background objects. Using the same technique, researchers from Curtin University at the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research in Perth, Australia, were able to calculate more accurately than ever before how far Cygnus X1 actually is from us. The 2011 study also analyzed light from the black hole's companion star. For their new calculations, the researchers used, among other things, data obtained by the Very Long Baseline Array Telescope in the United States. This facility is one of the largest telescopes on Earth and consists of 10 dishes distributed throughout the United States. In the course of six 12-hour observations conducted on consecutive days, the researchers were able to study the black hole's entire orbit around the sun. Based on these measurements, the researchers were able to draw conclusions about the diameter of the star and the size of the black hole. And again, the new data were surprising. According to these new calculations, the companion star of Cygnus X1 is about 14.8 times the size of our sun, and the black hole has 21.2 solar masses. Thus, Cygnus X1 is clearly larger than assumed so far. Nevertheless, Cygnus X1 is rather small in cosmic comparison. The largest currently known black holes are the quasar TON618 with an estimated 66 to 70 billion solar masses and the central black hole of the galaxy IC1101 
with about 40 billion solar masses. Researchers from China took up the new measuring data and realizations of the colleagues from Australia and found further new details, approximately around black holes and Cygnus X1. According to this, the stars from which black holes are formed may not be quite as large as previously thought. Previous models said that a massive black hole in our Milky Way galaxy could only form from stars about 15 times the mass of the Sun. Researchers then studied some stars that might eventually become black holes. In doing so, they found that stars experience a great deal of shrinkage due to winds over the course of their lifetimes. Similar to our Sun, almost all stars eject large plasma streams and thus lose more or less mass during their lifetime. This circumstance makes it very difficult for researchers to determine in advance which stars might eventually form black holes. This would be of importance for us on Earth, for example, if a star in our vicinity were to develop into a supernova and then end up as a black hole. But at present, there is neither a star that is about to explode nor a black hole in our immediate cosmic vicinity. The researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing found out another exciting detail about Cygnus X1. The updated estimates of the black hole's mass and distance have also revealed that the black hole is spinning at an extreme speed, spinning close to the speed of light. The first black hole ever discovered is currently the fastest spinning in the entire known universe. So, Cygnus X1 remains an interesting object of study that continues to amaze the world of science more than 40 years after its discovery. We'll say goodbye for now and hope you enjoyed this exciting excursion into the world of fascinating black holes. Tell us what you think about the discovery of these mysterious cosmic phenomena and tell us if you have any idea what might be inside black holes.